my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching another video. In this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys products from the main choice. It's a tropical moringa line. It is now in Walmart. You can get it in Walmart. Um, at my Walmart, the whole line is not there. It's only really just two products, which is the restorative spray and the pearly braid glaze. Uh, the pearly braid out glaze. But these are the products right here. So the reason why I got these products is because I was reading some of the hair benefits that they have and these are some things I think my hair can really use and that my hair needs. So a few things that stood out to me that kind of caught my attention about these products as far as what they offer uh, the hair, your natural hair, is it improves elasticity, <laughs> I can't even talk. It improves elasticity and I know my hair um, lacks elasticity. It's just kind of limp. It also fights frizz and of course, you know, in the summertime and the, the temperatures are starting to warm up and the humidity here, it is really bad on my hair. So as you can see, this is a, a poofy mess right now. It's very soft and it's very moisturized. Um, it feels very conditioned, but it is just... Phew, so the purpose of my whole hair journey is to grow my hair in a healthy, natural way. And I just like to find products that aid in that and that, that um, help in those areas that my hair needs. So with the breakage and the split ends and the, the limpness of my hair, um, the dryness, just so many things that's just going on. I'm just looking for products that's going to improve these things in my hair. So when I see products that... Excuse me, when I see products that specifically talk about fighting frizz and promotes elasticity and hair retention and hair growth and things like that, that's what I look for in these products. And these products actually say that on here. So um, let me just tell you some of the things that it says on these products and also let me share with you some of the ingredients that are in these products as well. So the first one I got is the sweet, it says sweet oil and honey endless moisture. This is the restorative spray. It helps to support natural growth and retention. And you know, growth is my thing, trying to get my hair to grow. Um, and it also says it instantly delivers and locks in lasting moisture. It helps to provide elasticity um, and definition. It also helps to uh, improve definition and refreshes and reboosts your curls. It fights frizz, softens your hair, hydrates your hair, enhances natural shine and luster and it helps to strengthen, condition, and protect your hair. This is an eight fluid ounce bottle. It's infused with biotin and the Moringo, the, I'm sorry, the Moringa seed oil. I'm hoping I'm saying this product correct. But this is what it looks like. So my initial reaction of this product when I picked it up is it's very liquidy. It's, it's not like a thick consistency uh, like the um, last product that I had. It smells amazing. It smells very tropical. It definitely has this tropical sweet smell to it. So I really like that. I, I like sweet smelling hair products. I hate to have stinking hair products on my hair. I think my hair might like this one. I don't know. So I'm excited to try it. So just to give you some ingredients of the uh, restorative spray, these are just some ingredients. The first ingredient is water. Um, it also has aloe vera juice in it. Um, celery seed extract, it has asparagus, root, uh, biotin, uh, green tea, it's kind of hard to read this bottle, it has vitamin D in it, horsetail extract, ginkgo, biloba, leaf extract, honeysuckle extract, uh, the moringa uh, seed oil, vitamin A, and it also has vitamin E, it has nettle in it, um, it has pal the palmento fruit oil in it. So it's got a lot of great stuff in here. So the reason why I got the restorative spray is because I was not 100% all that impressed with the last two um, sprays or leave-in conditioners that I got. One of the sprays, it was just hard to get out of the bottle. The other one, it was just too thick. And I also got the... Um, this is the Sweet and Honey Endless Moisture Pearly Braid, Pearly Braid Out Glaze. And the ingredients that are in the uh, glaze include water, castor oil, um, hydrogenated castor oil, I should say. Um, it also has aloe vera juice. The celery seed, a lot of these ingredients are pretty much the same. It has beta carotene in it, 
biotin, green tea, horsetail, coconut oil is in here, um, the saw palmetto, fruit oil, grapeseed extract. Um, I don't see any shea butter in these products, so for those that may be allergic to shea butter, there's no shea butter in any of these products that I'm seeing here. Uh, at least it's not listed on the ingredients. So the contents in this jar is, is very liquidy, so I can't lean it over too much because it will run out, but um, it kind of shakes around in there like jello. This product too smells very uh, tropical, very sweet scent, very appealing and pleasing to the nose. My nose likes it at least. It, it's The Moringa seed is, is derived from the Moringa tree, which is known as the healing tree uh, that deeply penetrates the hair shaft to infuse it with vital moisture and nutrients. It's power packed, improves shine, strength, and manageability. So the pearly braid out glaze delivers definition, flexible hold, it restores and locks in longer lasting moisture, it's smooth, uh, smooth, softens, minimizes frizz, helps to reduce breakage, and minimizes shedding. So the glaze is, is like a, let me show you because it's kind of hard, it might be kind of hard to see on camera, but just watch the consistency and in the, in the texture of this product. It's very jelly. It's almost got like this shimmer inside of it. Um, it looks like it's got some type of a glitter, just very lightly. But it is, um, it does have kind of like a tackiness to it a little bit. But it's, it's, it's kind of sticky. You can see it kind of stretching there. I don't know how my hair is going to feel about this product because it does leave like this stickiness to it. Um... I don't know, that could be the uh, honey that's in it because it does have honey in it. So this is used for like braid outs and twist outs, but I just want to just see how it looks defined, just defining my curls first. Because um, I don't know how it's gonna do with a braid or a twist out, but with this humidity, I'm probably gonna need that stickiness to really hold uh, my hair intact. So I will eventually do um, my whole hair with this glaze just to see how the twists turn out and I will show you a video specifically for that and I'm going to bring that video very soon. So I'm going to go ahead and use the restorative spray and see how this feels on my hair. So we're going to spray this on first and it comes out like a mist. It's not this straight stream that's like knocking you upside the head and it easily pumps which I love. It's just a nice quick pumps. Alright, so I'm just going to work that through. It's got a little sud to it. A little sudsy. It's very moisturizing. It feels very conditioning on my hair. It's got, maybe I sprayed too much. I don't know. But either way, it's very, it feels very conditioning on my hair. And it's gliding through, so it's definitely got some slip. So the product is worked in. It's very soft. Very conditioning. Feels good. Definitely has slip. Smells great. My hair does not feel rough or hard at all, so that's good. Okay, so, so far I'm impressed. I like it. So we come to the end of the video. I just want to share you my initial thoughts and reaction to these products before I did a whole head, a full head using these products. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. I will be bringing the full tutorial of the whole uh, twist out or braid out, whatever I chose, choose to do with these products. So stay tuned for that. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so that way you'll see that video coming soon. It's just Janine. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.